Okay. So I fuck your bitch, you fat motherfucker. What's up, gods on nerf? Yes, you, 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 and you. This is Daimonic. Welcome to the channel. And another day in paradise. Yes, this beautiful blue planet we call Earth. And look at this Bitcoin popping 5.42%. Ethereum doing very well, popping 6%. XRP doing quite well as well. A lot of the greens in cryptocurrency space. This is a beautiful day. All we can say is a beautiful day. We have 12 days until the upcoming Bitcoin halving. This, this is a massive opportunity to make some gains, baby. A lot of gains, baby. And we are going to talk about some very key bullish things in this video. This is going to be a relatively short video. President Putin understands Bitcoin. And we're going to talk about something else as well, which is which you got to stick around to see. Very good, valuable information. Stick around, guys. Let's get it started. All right, guys, let's head over to CoinMarketCap and look at the top 10 best performing coins in the world. As you can see, Bitcoin is currently at 151 billion US dollars. Wow, what a movement today. We are really close to that 160, 160 billion dollar market cap that we want to see so bad. But obviously, we want to reach our all time high in market cap, which is, as you can see right here, guys, which is 331 billion us dollars in market cap which will put the price at around twenty thousand us dollars but we are still still a bit far away from that let's take one day at a time and on another side note most of the top 10 coins are staying in their relative in their relative positions not a lot of movement up and down in numbers you can see bitcoin cash and bitcoin satoshi visions having a little bit of recovery you guys know I'm not a fan of those two coins. I want them out of the top 10 as soon as, as soon as humanly possible. So we can replace those two coins with coins that actually have utility and solve some problems in the world. Coins like EOS, coins like um, Cardano or coins like Stellar, coins like Chainlink that would be better in the top 10. And on to the charts guys. Let's look at the British pound to BTC comparison. Again, this is a four hour chart right here. And as I was saying yesterday, we for the last past couple of weeks, we've been forming this ascending triangle right here. And then we have a smaller ascending triangle that which I was saying yesterday that we were expecting a massive move to the upside. And exactly as I predicted, we have uh, an, ex an amazing move to the upside. I mean, this is close to at the, at the top was 8%. We are currently at 7. 62% in a pump. This is really good for Bitcoin. And I think the next level that we have to challenge to, to get to is the the 7,100 pound level, which is the level that provided a lot of resistance over here. And and if you allow me, excuse me for that line over here as well. Once we get up to this level, we will experience really bullish bullish territory again we are 12 days 12 days before the halving if the price of bitcoin does something along those lines i am very 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 happy with the price all right guys another key point that you have to look at is on the daily chart we are currently running above this trend line right here that supported us in the beginning of the bull run of 2019 that had bitcoin going from 2645 pounds all the way up to 10,215 pounds. This was a massive move times five in price. Amazing in a span of a very few months. And if you calculate right here, if I drag this, this trend line right here that marks up from the beginning of the bull run to the whole time high, and I move this line over here and I put it right on top of the trend line that we are currently riding on, we will see a price of Bitcoin reached all the way up to 14k to 150 British pound per Bitcoin. Wow, that is definitely times two what we have, if not times three. Amazing, amazing gains coming up. But let's talk about something else. So, in a recent interview, President Putin was asked 
whether Russia will have a cryptocurrency soon and whether that specific cryptocurrency would be regulated by the government and this is what he had to say. Криптовалюта полностью заменит наши обычные стандартные деньги. Ну, вопрос, который вам задали, он задан несколько некорректно, потому что своей криптовалюты у России не может быть по определению, так же, как не может быть своей, своей криптовалюты в любой другой стране. Потому что если мы говорим о криптовалюте, то это то, что выходит за рамки национальных границ. Well, what do you think? Does President Putin understand cryptocurrencies? I think he does. Uh, yeah. So basically his answer was that by definition it is impossible for any nation to have a cryptocurrency because cryptocurrencies by definition are borderless, meaning they are money off the internet. If you have a cryptocurrency, people will trade their currencies, their cryptocurrencies for all the cryptocurrencies, thus sort of mm, wiping up the borders of the world. So if Russia opens a cryptocurrency, that would make their currency a money of the internet and not just the money of the nation. Does that make any sense? Yes, it does. Let's move on to the next topic. On a separate bit of information, no pun intended, we have third major transfer from the middle class to the wealthy. Yes, this article talks about how the middle class is getting robbed yet again by the feds and by the government and they're just taking their money and giving it to the wealthy yet again. And let's go into the article and it says, the feds will deploy more than 1.45 trillion in support of investors in leveraged assets. Tremendous amount of money, 1.5 trillion. More than double the size of the 2008 Troubled Asset Relief Program. That includes seven, 750 billion to purchase recently downgraded junk bonds and exchange and bond exchange traded funds. An unprecedented intervention in the private credit market. This is a really good, good article. I'm gonna leave a link for it down below so you can have a look at it and tell me what you think in the comment section, of course. And let's move on to the next topic. All right, guys, I have one more clip to show you. This clip is from Lex Friedman's podcast when he interviewed Jack Dorsey. Yes, the CEO of Twitter and the CEO of Squarespace when he was asked specifically whether cryptocurrencies will affect or revolutionize the internet business module out there. Let's listen to what he has to say. So w what does the future look like in terms of increasing people's access? Or if you look at IoT, Internet of Things, there's more and more intelligent devices. You can see there's some people even talking about our personal data as a thing that we could monetize more explicitly versus implicitly. Sort of everything can become part of the economy. Do you see, so what, what does the future of Square look like in sort of giving people access in all kinds of ways to being part of the economy as merchants and as consumers? I I believe that the currency we use is, is a huge um, part of the answer. And I believe that the internet deserves and requires uh, a native currency. And, and that's why I'm I'm such a huge believer in, in Bitcoin uh, because it, it just, our, our biggest problem as a company right now is we cannot act like an internet company. Open a new market, we have to have a partnership with a local bank. We have to pay attention to different regulatory onboarding environments. Um, and a digital currency like Bitcoin takes an, a bunch of that away where we can potentially uh, launch a product in every single market around the world um, because they're all using the same currency. And we, we have consistent uh, understanding of regulation and onboarding and, and, and what that means. So I think, um, you know, the, the internet continuing to be accessible to people is number one. And then I think currency is, is number two. Um, and it, it will just allow for a lot more innovation, a lot more speed, uh, in terms of what we can build and others can build. And, uh, it's just it's just really exciting so i mean i, I want to be able to see that and feel that in, in my lifetime i could not agree more jack dorsey yes the ceo of twitter and the ceo of squarespace is tremendous bullish on bitcoin 
Uh, me as an internet business older i like to buy items in both from chinese uh, manufacturers and sell them on ebay and amazon it's much much easier for me to just transact with bitcoin as opposed to send them money via my currency and trade it to their currency so i definitely agree with that i want the internet to have its own form of currency that is not controlled by any banking system or any government that is the money of the people and i want to see that happen in the next five five years and that concludes the video guys so uh let's just look at the price one last time oh bitcoin is popping actually 7.42 percent it's currently at 8300 we are past the eight thousand dollar margin this is amazing for bitcoin so that's all the video for today guys leave a comment down below subscribe if you want to for more cryptocurrency videos i do this every single day keep yourself safe out there uh, i know this COVID situation is crazy but hey we gotta do what we have to do and as always do what you like guys see you later